get down here, man. Let's get dirty. I'll show you guys what I'm working on today. I'm finna do a transmission uh, tune-up filter swap. It's a real dirty job, real dirty job. But I got a treat for this, man. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a drain plug inside the uh, the transmission pan. So that when I get ready to change the fluid again, all I gotta do is just uh, they just undo the uh, plug, undo the drain plug. I hope I ain't misplaced it. This right here is what I be uh, using. I use a half inch or a drill bit. Drill a hole inside the drain plug, wherever I want it to be. So that it won't be, uh, it won't hit up against the valve body or nothing like that. I may check out that pan and see if it's weldable. If it's weldable, I just go to the store and just get a, a different type situation where I can weld it anywhere I want. You know what I mean? But if I don't, I'm gonna use this right here. So y'all stay tuned. I'm finna finish uh finish draining it and all. Uh, we'll move to the next step. All right. But until then, subscribe to the channel. Just inspecting it, making sure that it's uh, weldable. I feel that it is because it's a magnet on her. Anytime when you can stick a magnet to metal, it is it has a steel in it or it is steel. A lot of people don't know that they even they even well but uh i think i'm gonna uh clean this clean this 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 situation this part up clean this up and um i put my situation right here see what i did was i got a uh, i found the nut and i found the bolt and what i'm gonna do is uh like i said clean this area right here up and i'm gonna put that bolt right there but i'm gonna put a hole in this area and then just Weld it, weld it in place. So when I change the oil on the transmission, it'll come out. I'm trying to do my finger so y'all can see. It'll come out this way, and it'll go right into my oil drain pan that I got on the flow down though. So y'all stay tuned, and uh, I show you guys all the weld and all that when I when I finish. All right. It turned out just as I was playing, so you can weld these uh, oil pans. You can weld them. And now, you know, when the oil, the transmission uh, fluid goes in there, when I get ready to drain it, it's going to all go out this way. And it's going to come out that way when I change it. Whenever I make that video, uh, I will make that video on it to show you guys... Uh, what I'm what I was talking about and what I was trying to do. So it came out just the way that I wanted. And this thing's still hot too. So that's how it's gonna be. And I chose a 14, 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter head, my bad. Just screw it on there. I may put some gas can make it around the threads to keep it from leaking. And that's how we're going with it, man. So, y'all stay tuned. Uh, I just finished putting the filter on. Oh, don't mind my flow. I just finished. Let me see if y'all can see it. I just finished putting this filter on. I'm finna drop down here and uh, put it all back together. I think it's done draining. I'm finna pull all this out, clean this up so I can lay down and do what it do. So, y'all stay tuned, man, to the end of the video so I can show you guys, man, what it look like before we close out. All right. All right, you guys, I'm back up on the truck. We up on the truck, man. I think I got it done, man. Let's check out what I did. All right. It's all bolted down. The gasket is on. It's all clean. They go my, my new oil drain situation. Looking good, looking pretty. I wish I, I wish I painted this uh pan. That's what I wish I did, but it ain't nothing to get up under with some black paint and just, you know, 
paint all this shit black. But um, <clears throat> just wanted to show you guys that um, I'm about to uh, put this fluid in, man, and and call it a day, man. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, peace.